What's up, YouTube? Beautiful day out here, 40 degrees. Uh, it's uh, the day before December 1st, and it's so nice out. And I just wanted to make a video uh, because this is gonna be my last chance before the cold winter. Because I'm not really gonna be recording at home. Sun's out. This is a nice secluded spot. Uh, this is like one of the best spots I have. I'll probably just start coming out here to record, to be honest. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I could probably still film out here in the winter as long as I get get super warm. Gloves, hat, all that stuff. But yeah, this is a good spot. As long as there's no trains coming by, then we're good. But let's get right into the video. Uh, no more introduction, guys. Uh, I want to help you guys quit drinking. Uh, it's really not as hard as it seems, uh, especially if you're not one of the people that have been drinking like your whole lives or like 40 plus years, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. If you are one of those people, you know, my what I'm about to say might still help you. But this is especially for people that, you know, they just started drinking. Um, or maybe they've been drinking for like a year. Um, or maybe they're in like 21 around that age getting into drinking, right? Well, I'll just, I'll just tell you guys, like, I'll just tell you guys. Uh, basically what I did and then you guys can take it from there but you know I started drinking before 21 you know I started drinking before 18 uh, but I think I only drank because I wasn't supposed to like at least for like the law or like how how, how people make it seem but like uh, I, so I think that's what made it seem like, oh yeah, drinking, right? Like, let's do it. Because for, well, for one, I, I knew people that drank. So I thought, well, there's got to be something cool about that, right? Because I didn't hear a lot of bad things about alcohol. Oh, uh, like, that's why I thought it was cool. But I did know that people acted kind of funny or like their moods would be funny sometimes when they drank or like they wouldn't be themselves. I knew that they wouldn't really be themselves. But of course, like if there's older people that do it and you're younger, you, you think you wanna try it, right? So there's that, right? And then there's that other side that I was talking about how legally, you know, you gotta, you gotta be 21 to drink. That's the way they make it seem and that's how they wanna make it. So it makes, it makes younger people want to drink because they can't, all right? So there's there's one side where, you know, you think it's cool or you think it's okay, right? Like people in your immediate life probably won't have a problem with you, with you trying. And then there's the other side where you're not supposed to in society's eyes, uh, depending on where you live. So then you want to do it. So that's like the introduction for the topic, but here here comes like the rest of the video, right? So, right, so if you're around 21 or you just started drinking, you know, or you haven't been drinking for like 40 plus years, or you didn't start drinking from a, a young age, right? This video might help you because all alcohol is, is ethanol. Well, at least the part of alcohol that gets us messed up is ethanol which is, I believe that's also in gasoline, but ethanol is a poison, right? So it's the same thing with smoking, uh, smoking those, you know, the sticks, right? That's giving you, well, the first thing that's happening is it's poisoning you and your body has to give you a good feeling to make you feel better because you're actually physically poisoning yourself. 
So that's uh, true with alcohol, guys, where basically you're hurting yourself. Kind of like if you were to, well, let's say people who self who, who self harm themselves, they get a a good feeling from that from hurting themselves. It's kind of like a fl like a fluke in the human system where oh, I don't want to call it a fluke, right? I don't know what I would call it, right? But there's something there that you know, and and people do it, but it's not supposed to be done, right? Well, it's the same thing with alcohol, guys, where that's giving you a good feeling but if you look you got to look at why it's giving you a good feeling and the reason it's giving you a good feeling is because your body is responding to pro pro processing and breaking down poison so yeah if you drink beer then that's still poison if you drink vodka that's pure poison that's more pure poison so no matter what you're drinking guys I suggest you just drink water. I suggest you drink, uh, I suggest you drink water and you know, make sure, try to drink the cleanest water you can get your hands on, but don't drink alcohol, right? I mean, there might be certain times way back in the days when like, or not even way back in the days, but just depending where, where you are, right? Um, the water might be really bad, right? So the alcohol is like, you put a little alcohol in the water or however it happens, right? It's mostly water, but a little bit of alcohol if it's your only resort. If that's your only resort, I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm talking about all these people um, that, you know, they wanna go to the bar or they wanna buy a bottle or they want a beer, right? And they might not know that they're poisoning themselves, right? So that's why I'm putting this video out there because, you know, what else can I do besides let people know stuff that most people would never know because i did not know that um and most people don't know that and if you ever get into if you if you ever talk to somebody who drank their whole life and you try to tell them alcohol is poison uh well they're probably going to mention that fact that i that i was saying about how if you have really bad water it's probably healthier to drink like a little bit of alcohol to, to kill the, the germs and stuff Hey, I'm not even sure if this is true, guys. But I'm just saying that's something that has been said before. You know, so... Anyways. But yeah, a lot of these long, long-time drinkers... You know, it's like when you've been doing something all your life... It's hard for you to change. But I didn't say impossible, guys. You could definitely stop drinking. Especially if you realize it's poisoning you. It's actually making you feel worse long-term. And you're choosing to do that, right? Uh... And you know, a di a, there is a su there is such thing as addiction, right? So, you know, you want to cut back slowly. If you drink a lot, you want to cut back slowly, and you just want to keep in mind that alcohol is poison. If you have to find something else to replace it, start 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 uh, cooking yourself a, f a special food, clean up, do laundry, work work. You got to find something besides alcohol because. That's straight up poisoning you. And you know, there's some people that might have been through some traumatic events, some bad situations that they they want to use alcohol because they said, well, my head is so messed up, I just need to, right? That's what they tell themselves. But the truth is that it's going to make you even worse. And if you could heal, you can't heal when you're drinking alcohol, guys. But if you can heal, if you can with stain from alcohol and you heal which i'm saying you can heal that's what i'm trying to say is that guys you can heal if you put down the alcohol you'll be able to heal and it'll happen slowly it's not going to be a quick fix like having a drink but it's gonna happen guys you're going to heal yourselves and that's going to make life that much more better to you because of the things that you went through that you know no one else can say they might have went through something right in their in their uh in their you know trial of life but but you went through your specific situation so that's why you know that once you beat it now you just have that wisdom so that's why it does pay to listen to the older guys right because a lot of these older guys have beat a lot of stuff and now they're watching you start it and they want to tell you to not start it. 
So that goes for your very oldest people and your elders, right? All the way down to me, guys. I'm like 24, right? I'm not I'm not an elder. I'm not an older. But that's why I'm talking to you guys that are like 21 or even younger, right? People start drinking younger, so it pays to, to talk to people that have actually done it already and then realized or... Well, really, it, you force yourself to a realization. Uh, you force yourself to realize stuff when you make bad decisions. Uh, but the bad decisions go with you your whole life. That's why it's important to listen to your older people tell you so that you don't make the decisions because those same decisions are going to follow you your whole life, guys. What about in school, right? We had a permanent record, right? We had the same thing in adulthood, guys. And if you get in trouble with the system when you're younger, then you already, you're basically already like, your permanent record already has something before you're even 18. Uh, so basically that's what they're doing, guys. They have permanent record, just like in your school, when you're younger, right? Of, thing, of something you did. They have to keep track of us, guys. So don't you think those things come up for a job interview a new if you need to find a new place to live uh all everything right you're you're not you're you're gonna limit your options you're going to limit your options and now your life isn't going to be your same life anymore now you narrowed your road right and it's important to be on the right path right see see this path right here it's important to be on a straight narrow path right but let's let's say you just started drinking right but then you drank and then you just started drinking 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 like now years went by right now you just switched over to a new track and now your life is slightly in a different direction right those other jobs are on that side right or the other play all the other opportunities let's call them opportunities they're on that side but now you're on this side right and a little bit down the road this side might narrow that way and the and the side you should be on is going to go that way and that's how life kind of is guys the younger you are the easier you think it's going to be when it at least when it comes to things you're not supposed to do but after if you're somebody like me you get caught doing things right away you get caught doing it right away so then you force yourself into a situation where now you got to switch back paths again because you got caught and that's a beautiful thing. And that's a wonderful thing. And when you're on this path, you can let people know on that path that they got to come back over here. Right? Because that's just, there's only one path, guys. And, you know, I don't mean this like figurative. I don't mean this literally, guys. But I just mean there's only one path uh, to like having a good state of mind. Right? Trust me, there's people around me that drink every day, every night. I know some people that drink in the morning and they are not happy guys they are not happy take it from me or you might have experienced this yourselves guys but take it from me they might be happy when they're drinking they might not be happy when they're drinking they might be angry but if they're not drinking they are very unhappy guys very unhappy but but with time anybody can heal with time anybody can overcome with time you can just heal from any addiction guys it takes time. That's why you see so many people still addicted because it takes time. It does take resources, right? If, if you wanna quit drinking, then you probably gotta spend a little resources, right? You might have to buy a healthy meal. You might have to buy some water, but at least you're not gonna be buying alcohol. But anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. I tried to give you the real me. I tried to put my heart into the camera. So if you like the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.